G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today, I'm going to give you a look at this Ewok pack. It's another one from the Legacy Collection. It's um, Wave 1 actually of the Legacy Collection. And we actually around here got it after Wave 2 for some strange reason. So that's why I've done the others first and now I'm getting to these. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for the cute little baby Ewok for some time. And um, it's really going to add um, um, a lot to our Ewok village setup. I'm um, getting quite a few Ewoks together now. I must have. I'm uh, getting close to 10, I'd think. So, um, getting quite a tribe together. This is the um, packaging that came in. And um, this is called, as you can see from the writing here, Leak Tar and Nip It. Or maybe just Leak Tar and Nipper. I'm never quite sure how they pronounce these things because they never say the names in the movie. Um, I'll just quickly read to you from the back of the pack. Liktar is all too familiar with the threats of stormtroopers. Having earlier saved an Ewok scouting ex expedition from attacking stormtroopers. Nipper, the Wokling, is too young to take part in the Battle of Endor, but is delighted by the victory celebration that takes place in her village. Okay, so that's interesting. So this baby is supposed to be a baby girl. I should have known. <laughs> There's a little baby out of the basket. And I thought there might have been some head articulation, neck articulation, but there isn't. But still, it's just a sort of a stand in place sort of figure, so it doesn't matter at all. Um, this little guy, oh jeez, or is it a girl? Who knows, it looks like a guy to me I think. But then, having the baby with it, maybe, maybe it is supposed to be the mother, who knows, who really cares. Um, the hood is removable, but I had quite a hard time getting it on and off. Its ears get caught in the top and I actually ended up pulling its whole head off. And uh, I eventually got it out, and then it was a hassle getting them back on as well. So, really not advised to take the hood off. It did kind of look okay without it, but it's much better with the hood on. Um, the articulation on this little guy is pretty good. Um, just got a ball jointed neck, uh, ball hinge shoulders on both arms, and swivel wrists. Uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, and it's actually got ball hinged ankles also. So pretty good for a little Ewok. And um, I'm in a pretty generous mood, so I'm going to give this one eight and a half out of ten, just because um, I like it, you know, and it's relatively well made. Definitely recommend it for anyone trying to get an Ewok tribe going and build an Ewok village scene. So that's it, there's the packaging once again. And I'll be back to do um, at least a couple more reviews today. So until then, all the best to you and may the force be with you.